What was the moment where you thought, I'm getting old? When I couldn't sleep without hurting something on me. Currently stuck awake because I hurt my shoulder sleeping. Sleep on the floor for a few days. One year I didn't get any socks for Christmas and was disappointed. Oh no is this a warning sign? My affinity for socks, underwear, and nice sweaters is increasing every year. When I was older than my doctor. My grandmom described her doctor being lovely young man. My aunt told us he was actually in his mid-sixties. That one hurts. When I moved I had to find a new GP, and I swear she looks like she's a teenager. My wife and I went to a party, we brought guacamole. We left the party and forgot the bowl. My wife and I talked the next two days about how we need the bowl back and when we finally coordinated with the other couple and got our bowl back we were extremely happy. This was me when I left my blue and white pie dish at my aunt's house after Thanksgiving. My mom had to bring it to me a few days later. The whole time, my husband was on the side of if you care that much about a pie plate, you probably should leave it at home so it doesn't get lost. I, on the other hand, felt that since it was a lovely pie plate, it should be used and shown off. It's the adult version of having a favorite toy that you want everyone to see, but also don't want to lose. This resonates with me. I cook and bake a lot, and I share with my friends and family. I keep extremely close tabs on who has which rubber made container and make sure I get each one back before they get more baked goods. I had a dream the other day about being in high school again, then I woke up and realized I was 28. Then it dawned on me that I'm actually 38. Same. These last 10 years might as well have been a year. I still have recurring college dreams when I'm stressed. I'll be 41 in less than a month. Went back to my university town for a wedding. Group of friends went to the club we all used to go. Left in shop 5 minutes later because everyone there looked about 12 years old. Ended up going to the oldies pub instead. A group of friends and I didn't hat last summer. Walked into the bar we went to in college 30 years earlier, lasted about 10 minutes before somebody mentioned the weird old guy that used to come in the bar back then, realized we had become the weird old guy. If it makes you feel better I had the same experience when I moved to a university town in my late 20s to finish a degree. I ended up getting a student job at a restaurant where most of my co-workers were late teens or early 20s. One day I heard one of the 16 year olds complaining that she'd been getting bored clubbing lately. I'm like wait, what now? How are you even going to clubs? You're only 16? And she told me thanks to her expert fake ID she'd been clubbing since 14, her and all her friends. So what I'm saying is maybe they were actually 12. When everything started hurting all the time. Get up from sitting down, back pain. Getting up in the morning, full body pain. Do any type of exercise, excruciating pain for multiple days. Started taking ibuprofen like motherfucking Tic Tacos. Upvote for Tic Tacos. Completely unsolicited advice, please feel free to ignore, but I completely fucked my kidneys taking too much ibuprofen. Be mindful, in excess they can cause really bad kidney stones. When you bring up events, actors, music or shows that everyone knows about, and discover that no one knows what you are taking about. Or reading about current celebrities and having no clue who any of them are or what they do. We mock a girl at work who doesn't get our cultural references. How can you not have heard of X, Y, Z, ha, ha, you're so young. But really we're just crying inside, that she's only 28. Not one moment. But anytime I hear a song I grew up with played on oldies or classic station. Yeah, in my mind bands like Led Zeppelin, ACDC, Black Sabbath, Pink Floyd, Kiss, etc. will always be classic rock. It's been a rude awakening since my local classic rock station has started playing Nirvana, Green Day, The Offspring, and Smashing Pumpkins. I feel like the music I listened to growing up was fresh and groundbreaking just a couple of years ago. 
Yes, I was told my favorite song was a classic. My wife and I had a 20 minute long discussion about fiber. That was it. We were officially old right then. I too just had some hemorrhoids. Your butthole doing better? The thing about fiber, he said with a frown, it helps you to keep your cholesterol down. It aids in achieving the healthiest weight, and that, he continued, is totally great. The thing about fiber, she said with a nod, it's good for your gut and your blood and your bot. It helps down below when you're passing a stool, and that, she continued, is totally cool. The thing about fiber, he said with a breath, it lowers the risk of an earlier death. It helps you live longer, or that's what I'm told. They looked at each other. They whispered. We're old. I tried to skip steps on the stairs. Brain was totally unaware legs couldn't do it. It shit. Oof. When the new person I was training at work told me she was born in 2002. Where were you on 9-11? Not born yet fuck. I was doing urban exploring and bumped into some teens. They asked me when was the first time I visited this location. I answered. It was the year they were born. Ha 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 are you my co-worker? I just started at my job and when someone asked how old I was they were surprised when I said, edit, I was born in, 2002. Serving drinks for the first time and carding someone and about to tell them to get the fuck out when I realize that yes, it is in fact legal to sell alcohol to someone born in 2002. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.